Let's take it to the next level. Only by saying king of pants, you pretty much set the standard quite high. So let's see what's all about. Welcome, it's your host Amy from Pandventure and I am glad to have you all here. In this video, we are going to review the sailor king of pants Shakura Nahari. I'm pretty sure I butchered that word. Let's move along and see this amazing writing instrument. This is the box in which the pen is presented, a very light wooden box. And this is some Japanese characters. I don't know what it means. So if you probably can read this, comment down below, which is the meaning of these characters. Let's open the box and see what we have inside. The standard is set pretty high. So this is what we find inside the box of the King of Pens. Some of the warranty and informations regarding the fountain pen, polishing cloth. We have some Sailor ink cartridges, a pen kimono, and inside we have the Sailor King of Pens, Shakura Nahari. Again, sorry for butchering the word. This kimono is very, very nice if you want to carry your pen and make a statement. Let's put everything aside and get to analyze this fun pen. And this is the beautiful, beautiful King of Pens. I acquired this pen from a good friend of mine, Penultimate Dave, and he told me that he had a few of them, and I believe two. One was of his and one it was for sale. So I jumped to the occasion and took this beautiful writing instrument in my personal fun pen collection. I'm not considering myself an expert in the regards of sailor fun pens, but I do know their writing instruments and I do own a classic pens LB5, which is based on the King of Pen. And this fun pen made me go for this one because I simply love the shape and the nib. And this specific model of the King of Pens, the Shakura Nahare, is coming in this gorgeous, gorgeous Urushi lacquerware. It is stunning. And this is what made me pull the trigger on this fun pen. To translate, and I'm not an expert here, so bear with me, Shakura means cherry blossom, Nahari means a uh, river. So for example, as you can probably spot, we do have a river with cherry blossoms and the cherry blossoms are made of rodden, which is abalone shell to be more specific. And that is embedded in the Urushi lacquer along with gold dust and it forms the spiral river of cherry blossoms. It's stunning. I love the finish. I love the color. And also this uh, river, it has texture. If you move your fingers, those rotten pieces are going to form this marbling effect and it's stunning. In my usual review style, let's get to see the details of this fountain. Then we will have a size comparison writing sample, and in the end, I will share some of my thoughts regarding this amazing writing instrument. Let's start with the finial, which is dome-shaped, and you pretty much see that the King of Pan has a cigar shape overall as a fountain pen. Of course, we have some of the professional gear pens, which are flat at the ends. This one is a cigar shape. The finial is made out of resin, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know, it doesn't feel like ebonite. It's a very deep, glossy black. Then we have this ring and the clip. Pretty much as a standard with all King of Pants that are using a clip. This is the same clip on all of them. It's gold plated and it's quite, quite rigid. It's not spring loaded, but it does work very, very well. The clip is featuring a let's say, sort of a guilloche pattern. It's made out of lines that are very aesthetic and minimalistic. The end of the clip is rounded, so it will not snag. On the cap, we pretty much have the pattern of those cherry blossom petals that are flowing in that river, spiraling down the pan. The shape of the cap starts to pick up in girth, starting from the finial towards the cap band and pretty much near the cap band, it reaches the maximum diameter point. And 
This cap band is very, very nicely engraved. It's quite large, but it does fit quite well with the overall size of the pen and the proportions. On this beautiful gold plated cap band, we find the engraved Sailor Japan founded 1911. Something very satisfying regarding the Shakura Nahari King of Pan is that the pattern of the Cherry Blossom River on the cap is aligning perfectly with the pattern of the barrel. As you can probably see, if we spin the pan, we have this very, very satisfying spiral river that flows from the cap down the fountain pan. Now, let's see how many turns of the cap we use to uncap the pan and we have one, almost two complete turns and we uncap the pan. And we are greeted by one of the most impressive nibs that there is, a 21 karat solid gold. I believe it's a size eight and I have as a size reference Delta Roma Imperiale. And I think it's safe to say that it's a size eight gold nib which is huge. On this Sailor Gold Nib, we find stamped, because this is not laser engraved or anything else, a beautiful pattern of lines, 1911, an anchor, the logo of the Sailor Company, 21 carat, 875 Sailor and Japan. And I think Sailor is the only company that is using 21 carat gold as an alloy for their nibs, which is spectacular. These nibs are very smooth with a hint of a feedback, soft, bouncy, and a joy to use. At the base of the nib, near the section on the left side, we have the size of the nib, and in this case is a medium. As far as I know, there are only two sizes available for this nib, and those are medium and broad nibs. We do have a plastic ABS feed. We go further and we have the section, and this is pretty much a very, very comfortable section. It's not a thin section because this is quite a long pan, but it's very, very ergonomic. It starts with this part right here, which is slightly flared out, and you can pretty much rest your fingers without slipping them towards the nib. Then the section starts to pick up in girth, not by much, but it has the maximum point near the threads. In between the section and the threads, we have this gold plated ring, the cap threads, which I think they are a little bit sharp, not too much. I don't hold that pen quite high in order to have my fingers on them. I usually grip it like this. And then we have the barrel. The overall shape of the barrel starts from the maximum diameter right here to taper in towards the end finial. You know what? Let me cap the pen and show you the beautiful pattern that we have on the barrel. I'm going to bring the pen closer. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. It has gold dust. It has rotten and the cherry blossom petals are stunning. It's beautiful. The pattern of the Urushi stops at this ring right here. And then we have the end finial, which is elongated. It's the same shiny black material like on the finial. I don't know if this is ebonite. I don't think so because it's quite light. It's not looking like ebonite. It looks like black resin. Correct me if I'm wrong. And we have the filling system for the King of Pan, which is the Sailor proprietary cartridge converter, which is supplied with the fountain pen. You can use Sailor ink cartridges, or you can use this plug and play option. This is the Sailor converter, and this is proprietary to Sailor. This doesn't hold a huge ink volume, but if you are like me and change the ink every two or three days, this will help you out because it is very, very easy to clean. It's easy to operate. You just draw some ink, you can write, then you can remove, you can clean this and put a different ink and you just plug the converter in the fountain pen and you are ready to go. Well, those are the details for this fountain pen. Now let's move into a size comparison and then let's see 
this gorgeous nib in action. Here we have the Sailor King of Pens. Next to other pen models, from left to right, we have Lamy All Star, Visconti Homo Sapiens Adventure Exclusive, Leonardo Momento Zero Grande Coffee, Sailor King of Pen Shakura Nahare, Scribo Feel Tsuka, and we have Classic Pens LB. Five. Here we have some measurements for the fun pen. Capped, the Sailor King of Pen measures 155 millimeters, uncapped 133 millimeters. I don't recommend posting this fun pen in order not to scratch the Urushi lacquer. The weight of the pen uninked is 36.5 grams capped and 23.2 grams uncapped. Here we go with the writing sample and we have the pen which is the Sailor King of Pants Shakura. Let me get this right. Shakura Nahari. And the nib is the 21 carat gold medium on this one. The ink is diamine red. This is not a skip. Dragon. And this is a very, very gorgeous nib. It has a hint of a feedback, that pencil like feedback that you have on the Japanese nibs. Now, let me show you the ink flow, which I consider to be moderate to wet, quite wet for a nib like this. And now let me show you some line variation. Don't push these nibs too hard because they are soft and you can easily spring the nib. But we do have a lot of line variation for such a nib. Now just to show you a comparison, this is the broad nib on my classic pens LB5, same ink, and we have not so much of a line variation. Again, a quite, quite wet nib. And this is just for comparison reasons, so you guys can pretty much spot the difference. So this is how the broad nib writes, and this is how the medium lines are. Mm, there is some difference, but not too, too crazy. Excuse my notebook, which has been used on different reviews. Now, let's see how it performs in some fast writing. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. No skippings whatsoever, no hesitations. It's just that I have a very, very weird angle and I'm lifting the nib off the paper. So as you can probably see, we do have consistency, flow, smoothness. This nib is a star. You know what? Let me know in the comment section down below if you tried the Sailor 21 karat gold nibs on the King of Pants and what is your feedback regarding that. And now let's move on and I would like to share some of my thoughts regarding this King of Pants after owning it for the past two, three months or so. This is not a cheap version of the Sailor King of Pants because it's quite pricey. Depending on where you get it, it's a waiting list. It is between six or 10 months. But if you want this specific fun pen, you can find it available on the Penventure website. You will find the link down below and you can pretty much skip the line and get the pen much more quicker, this one. And this is a very nice option. So for example, if you crave for an LB5, which is like a centimeter, maybe half a centimeter longer than this King of Pen, and it's made out of diffusion bonded acrylic and they can bring very, very high prices on the secondary market and they are very rare to find. So for example, you can get this one, 
which is Urushi coated, a very beautiful, beautiful work of art. You have rodden, you have gold dust, pretty much the same nib on the LB5 is the same nib that you will find on this King of Pan cartridge converter, all the same and maybe at a fraction of the price. The pen is very, very nice to use. It's not too big. For example, I would say it's comparable to a Mont Blanc 149, which is the same cigar shape. The nib is a joy to use and the Sailor nibs are well known for that. I took my LB5 with me in Italy and I've passed this fountain pen, which has the same nib like on the Sailor King of Pens on this one. And I passed this fountain pen to a lot of pen manufacturers and I won't tell names, but they all agreed on the greatness of this nibs. So the Sailor nibs are well known to have outstanding performances. They feature a hint of a feedback. They are very, very soft, wet, bouncy, a joy to use. And you've seen that in the writing sample. I like the pen because it features this cartridge converter and it's very easy to clean the pen and change the ink. Although I've heard that these converters are not that, let's say, uh, reliable, but it's very, very low cost to change the converter or use an ink cartridge. You can't eyedropper this fun pen because we do have metal parts in the section so you won't be able to eyedropper this fun pen. Probably one of the downsides of this fun pen is that this small converter doesn't have a lot of ink volume. This is what I had in regards of details and my opinions regarding the Sailor King of Pan Shakura Nahane. I hope you liked my content. If you did so don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you are interested to get one of these fun pens and you want to skip the waiting line, you will find a link down below. Well, I think this is it. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the Pen Venture YouTube channel by clicking here and turn the notification bell on. And if you want to see more quality content from myself and Pen Venture, click on this video and enjoy. Well, my name is Emmy, and I look forward to seeing you next video. Stay safe. Bye bye.